Hey family, welcome back to my channel. So you just took down your protective style. I know I just did. And you're about to put another one back in. I know I am. <laughs> so you want to know the proper steps in retaining all of your length. Drop your styling tools, i.e. your styling combs and your dimmer brushes, and watch this video to the very end. I got you. But first, go over to Snapchat and hit me up and add me, and I'll be sure to do the same for you guys. Let's get back to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know my hair looks a little, a little crazy right now, but I just took down my uh, sew-in. So I'm going to show you all the proper steps that I do, like right when I take out my sew-in so it can be healthy, so I can put another sew-in and, and my hair can stay moisturized the whole time. Right now my hair is super moisturized and my sew-in's been in for quite some while. If you're wondering what my texture is, it is 4C. I have that kinky, that good, I got that, I got that melon, got that good hair, so, yes, that's what's going on with this. <laughs> so, the first step that I have is hot oil treatment. What I have in here is coconut oil, my favorite, and then I have peppermint oil, because it smells good, and also it helps with uh, itchy scalp, so, I'm just going to put that on my scalp and work it in, and that's the first step. If you want to, you can work in four sections, but... With this, I just take it, put it in my hand, and just massage it into my scalp. Alright, so the next thing I do is like deep condition my hair, and I just make this mixture. And it's just basically things that I think that goes well with my 4C texture. I'll just Details on what's in my actual deep conditioner hair mask will be in a later video. The point of this video is to teach you guys how to retain length. Um, your first step after you take down your protective style shouldn't be to detangle and go in with a wide tooth comb or your dimming brush it should be more to preserve those strands by putting in a thick deep conditioner into your hair you want to focus it on your edges and your ends your ends mainly because those are the oldest part of your hair um, and you need those to actually retain the length because your hair is constantly growing it's just whether or not you're retaining that um, those beautiful strands that you already grown out so um, at this point you can see that I'm finger detangling and you can see that that is all dead shedded hair and because it's long strands you can tell there's no breakage and that's what we want so after I'm done you can see that my curls are popping um, that what little curl pattern I do have with 4C hair and my hair is much more movable um, you can see in my first clip, if I could put a clip right here, how my hair was so stiff and dry a little bit. But now um, I can maneuver it, and I really love this process. I don't use any hair tools up until I blow out my hair after I have shampoo and recondition my hair, you guys. If you have 4C hair and you were looking for some way to grow out your hair, maybe consider sew-ins, protective styles. If you want to stay along with my journey, be sure to like this video, comment down below, um, and subscribe. Most importantly, subscribe. So, you know, we could be friends. Also, I'm on Instagram, Makeup by JT, and also Facebook, Makeup by JT. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the ones in the future. Bye! Mwah. Yo, B, they ready. Let's go. Feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling my, feeling myself.